Did you know that trees actually have real property value? Now we're sitting here and we've got a tree back here. You can see this old cedar that was removed. Now it was removed by not the owner of the property, the owner of the tree. It was removed by somebody else. So we're not gonna name names. I won't go into details, but we're here at an undisclosed location. And Mr. Homeowner is really upset because you see this whole area right here used to be covered in this tree and it blocked the view from this public building over here. And so what happened is now he's lost all of his privacy. So we've got a couple of things to factor in here. Number one, we've got, you've lost a tree that holds actual real property value. The second thing is you actually have some value in the privacy that this tree provided. So by removing this tree, they not only damage the property value, they also damage the client's ability to live here comfortably and enjoy his home. And so these things all have property value. So whenever you're looking at a tree that somebody removed and it wasn't you that removed it and you didn't want it removed, don't just be like, ah, oh, well, cut my loss. You actually wanna hold the other person accountable because quite frankly, it really does make a difference and this guy's property was damaged and he told me he's like, he doesn't even wanna live here anymore because of it. Now, reality of the matter is, it hurt him. And so what we're doing, we're pulling an appraisal on the tree, figuring out what it costs, and we'll use that as a basis to form, uh, basically just asking for uh, their property value back. 